exam that consists of multiple choice questions, reliability test in SPSS using Cooder Richardson Formula 21, KR21. Reliability test is one of the method to assess the internal consistency of item or questions and score consistency. If a same test that contain multiple choice questions repeated with the same student at different dates, the scores of the students in both dates will be similar, i.e. the scores will be consistent and the test will be reliable. The formula for the KR21 is used instead of the KR20 formula in certain condition when the questions have similar difficulties. The KR21 value ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means the test is unreliable. 1 means the test is extremely reliable. The formula for KR21 is given here below. It's equal to K divided by K minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the mean. And then this mean is multiplied by K minus the mean divided by the K multiplied by the variance. K stands for the total number of questions. Mean stands for the mean of the total score. Variance is the variance for the total score. Here in data view in SPSS, I have a data taken from an exam that consists of 15 multiple choice questions labeled as Q1 to Q15 answered by 10 students. The score for each question was recorded as zero for wrong answer and one for correct answer. So the data here I have is a dichotomous data or binary data. Dichotomous means that there are only two options, correct or incorrect, zero or one. And to assess and evaluate the exam and to determine the reliability of this test using these 15 multiple choice question, I'm going to use the KR21 formula. In SPSS, there is no command or function to do that. I need to um, assemble and use the equation given previously and calculate each component and then work out the value for the KR21. The first step to calculate the reliability of the test using the formula is to calculate the total score achieved by individual student and the way to do that is to add all the values the correct answer achieved by each individual student to do that click on transform select the compute variable and in the compute variable a new window appear and I'm going to generate a new target variable call it total score and then I'm going to in the use a numeric in the numeric expression I'm going to look for the sum command and place it here and to look for it click on the all in the function group scroll to statistical then select the sum in the below box drag the sum into numeric expression and to add up all the values or the scores achieved by each individual student need to use the command and then followed by bracket and insert the variables one by one between this bracket separated by comma so for the first variable I'm going to is add that 
in between the brackets select the first one and then add the second one and then insert a comma and the fourth and the same and the six and every time I enter a variable it has to be followed by a comma and we do that until we insert again I have to add a comma here between these two variables otherwise the uh, package will not execute the command so and then I'm going to add q13 comma q14 comma q15 so the SPSS will generate a new variable for adding the values for achieved by on scores values and scores achieved by each individual student if you're clicking ok a, a new variable is generated called total score and the total score score is for each individual student is equal to addition of all the correct answer achieved by every individual student the next step is to calculate the mean for the total score and the variance for the total score and to do that click on analyze scroll to descriptive statistics then select frequencies and then scroll down to total score again I just notice here the total score uh, the measures for it I need to visit the variable view and change the measures because this is a scale measure and we need to change that into uh, uh, scale so back again here into analyze descriptive frequency I'm going to transfer the total score into the variable box and then I'm going to select from the statistics icon the mean as I need the mean for the total score and the variance for the total score and then I click on continue and if I click on OK an output will be generated in the first table statistic tables or statistics table total score here a mean has been calculated and a variance and I'm going to use this mean and various variance and place them here in this equation to calculate the KR21 assisted by a calculator so I'm going to select the mean first click double click on the table and then select the value copy transfer that and paste that here in this uh, in this formula and I'm going to reduce the decimal point into 6.2 and then also place 6.2 in here in the upper part for the variance I'm going to again double click click on it and then copy and then paste that in the lower part here and I'm going just to use two decimal points I'm going to put a multiplication symbol here and a multiplication symbol here we already know that the K represent the total number of scores the total number of questions and the questions are 15 in this case so K is 15 and K here is 15 so using the calculator I'm going to calculate first the upper part 6.2 I will start first calculating the 15 minus 6.2 15 minus 6.2 equal to 8.8 .8. multiply that by 6.2 will give me a value of 54 Point fifty six. Copy this. Place it in the upper part of equation here. Uh, 
and for the lower part again we do the same multiply 15 by 24.84 is equal to 372.6 select copy and then place it here at the lower part and get rid of that number the next step is to find the product of dividing these two figures so 54.56 divided by 372.6 hit the equal and a value of 0.146 is generated so I'm going to remove this part, replace it by 0.146. Again, using the calculator, reset this. 1 minus 0.146 will give me a value of 0 0.5, 0 0.854. Then we need to multiply that by the k, divide that by k minus 1, and the k here is 15, so multiply that by 15, 1, 5, and then divide that by 14, 1, 4, and a value of 0.91 is generated. Well, we round it up to 0.92. So the value here will be equal to we can add the equal sign to point 0.92 so what does that mean this value represent the R uh, KR21 the reliability and that means the exam or the test with this multiple choice questions 15 multiple choice questions have a 92 percent reliability this is an excellent reliability and uh, it is uh, well known that any kr21 value of equal to 0.9 or greater will have an excellent reliability and anything below 0.5 will be considered as unreliable or unacceptable test or an exam so here now in SPSS we can calculate and assess the reliability of multiple choice question exam using the KR21 formula to determine whether the test is reliable or not.